all know uh, the, the when we are in a war like situation and and every war will not be uh, won with the same strategy the strategy that we implement for even uh, our success of this covid-19 response in urban area as well versus the rural area will be quite different so in this particular session we will be uh, talking mainly on how to activate the support and i will try to customize it more towards the ayush practitioners what are the safe practices that we have to follow and what uh, we can expect from the community how we can get those practices institutionalized and how to deal with the stigma and discrimination at a larger level so next slide please so the outcome of will be the participants will be able to discuss the special activities needed in urban areas uh, next slide please the urban areas are now going to pose a uh, different challenges as we are all uh, aware that the, as the scenario is unfolding most of the cases that are coming out across the community are the clusters in the urban areas uh, if you also look at the uh, the resource settings in india and a huge amount of population within the country uh, located in urban slums so approximately around 37% of them uh, you know the term social distancing really doesn't very much apply so if a people if people are living in uh, five people are living in a family uh, in one room house in a slum area how practically do you enforce social distancing so then we have to come up with uh, some new plans to introduce concepts like physical distancing or a discipline self distancing which needs to be introduced in these areas and uh, to make any government program successful and to make any intervention successful within the community first of all what we need to do is we need to gain a huge amount of trust from and within the community members how can we do that is by activating the support as we all know that when we do first aid or when we are in a treatment or when we are providing emergency care if we alone are not sufficient enough to provide the care we would definitely ask for further help similarly when we go for interventions uh, in urban areas in the community which we are not familiar to that can uh, lead to some uh, risk so as we are seeing also in the recent scenario of the attack on uh, healthcare workforce so with time we learn and we change our strategies in that way that uh, we involve the community members themselves in making our response much more effective for example if we are able to man a desk within the community which is manned by the community members itself then i think it will be a great suggestion and the community will they will know the local context they know the uh, local language over there and they will know the local mindset so it's very effective enough to for them to communicate with the community also uh, we can supervise those desks as well the involvement of religious leaders and local politicians uh, becomes very much uh, effective in those local contexts as well also people has a lot of st- stigma ongoing between them regarding the continuity of essential services but over the period of lockdown also you have seen that the essential services are not affected so hence even there are some people who are still reluctant about the essential services the voice should go out loud and clear that the essential services even if the lockdown or a periodic lockdown occurs even after this particular period the essential services disruption would not happen similarly when the whenever there is a free distribution of things like bleach mask sodium hypochlorite rather than we doing it Uh, if we involve the community members to get involved in the distribution it would be accepted in a much more better way and perceived in a better way next slide please so as we encourage the community to participate we also would like to identify the high risk groups see we all are as first responders are going to be eyes and ears of all the community we uh, uh, no country in the world has such amount of surveillance mechanism within the country that they are able to track down each and every case but a huge amount of responders who are being trained across the country by several platforms they also need to serve as 
eyes and ears for this entire community surveillance based program what we expect from them is that there are people who will be having some tendencies to hide their symptoms there are people who will be having stigma in not sharing that they are really really suffering from the disease so it might be covid it might not be covid but it's very important if people are having few basic symptoms which have been mentioned by earlier speakers they need to get care so this sort of uh, community surveillance mechanism needs to be uh, in place Sim- similarly uh, you have to lead the community by example so if the community is trusting you and when you are developing a two way communication channel with them you try to re-emphasize other issues like the children are being taken care of in a proper way in the poor areas the mid day meals are get, being delivered to them and a level of community level cadre is uh, being trained for the compliance uh, today in the news itself we have seen that a lot of youth volunteers have come up to help and assist the police to penetrate within their own communities so this is one of the best example and similarly when we go there in the future responses as healthcare workers it, it's very good for us also to involve this youth the communities over there and then lead the response similarly when we have a need to establish and identify some community level structures to transform them into treatment quarantine or isolation facilities it's community who can assure that where are the resources available which structure would be best suitable so we have to work closely with the community to even identify and transform those facilities like marriage hall whether it's a religious place or whether it's a community area uh, multi purpose cyclone shelters across the country this all can be identified and can further be transformed into quarantine facilities if required next slide please practicing safe behavior so th- this is uh, what we have to currently teach to the community see uh, medical professionals have a very big role across the country not just to treat the people but also to they look at you at, as as saviors so whatever you do it will be considered as a a sign of trust so not just when you go in the within the community you have to equally exhibit a safe behavior so you have to show them how to do frequent hand washing even by taking care of yourself as well is essentially important at this particular time avoid touching eyes nose and mouth when you are in the public and and even during this case so behavioral changes within yourself could be reflected within the community a lot of volunteer mechanism uh, are being sensitized on this the reason is the community is going to look uh, follow what these volunteers during the services are going to do for example there are uh, at several places where food distribution and other activities are happening social distancing is not being followed so if we ensure that social distancing happens by minimum 1 meter distance or if we can translate those thing into translatable messages like one meter uh, social distancing is a very uh, rigid talk if we can translate it into simple versions like do hath ki duri then it is quite understood by people and then uh, people will also follow it similarly uh, it's very uh, difficult for us to uh, again and again repeating in the public that wash hands for 20 seconds but if or maintain adequate respiratory hygiene but if we demonstrate them ki agar ye mask hai to mask ko is tarah se pehna hai mask ko pehnne ke baad usko khinchna aur pura cover karna zaruri hai mask ko is tarah se dispose of karna hai ya jab hum hand washing kare to hand washing mein is tarah se 20 second mein hand washing mein ye ye steps hai taki pura haath acche se cover ho aur har aadhe ghante karne ki zarurat nahi hai बट खाना खाने से पहले टॉयलेट से आने के बाद या बाहर से वापस आने के बाद या फिर शॉपिंग करने के बाद अवश्य अपना हाथ धुले सो इफ यू आर एबल टू गिव पीपल लॉजिक देन दे विल बी एबल टू डाइजेस्ट वॉट एवर यू आर गोइंग टू टेल देम इन लॉन्ग रन इन ऑल्सो शेयर बाई एग्जाम्पल आप ऐसे एग्जाम्पल शेयर कर सकते हैं कि मैं खुद एक डॉक्टर हूं मैं मुझे ये चीजें नहीं पता थी बट जब मैंने ये सीखा मैंने ये समझा और उससे मैंने अपने परिवार को सुरक्षित किया ये आप भी कर सकते हो इसके लिए डॉक्टर होना जरूरी नहीं है सो लीडिंग बाय एग्जांपल इज व्हाट वी वांट टू डिस्कस एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम विद द कम्युनिटी सिमिलरली इंटरेक्शन विद किड्स दे एज वी ऑल नो ऑल द पार्टिसिपेंट्स आर हैविंग सो मेनी क्वेश्चन जस्ट 
ट्राई टू रिफ्लेक्ट ऑन किड्स बच्चों को तो कितने हमसे पचास गुने ज्यादा सवाल होंगे सो वी एंड एंड दे माई बी लॉजिकल दे माई नॉट बी लॉजिकल बट इट इज अवर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टू एड्रेस यू ऑफ देयर क्वेरीज एंड 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 यू नो इफ वी फील कैपेसिटी फॉर चिल्ड्रन इट इज गोइंग टू बी अ लॉन्ग टर्म इन्वेस्टमेंट और people uh, children if trained will uh, pass it on to the family as well because they do uh, pass on the safety practices within the families as well so next slide please and one of the most important thing is uh, to deal with stigma and discrimination uh, the, when this initial response started uh, there was a lot of apprehension among the societies and the resident welfare associations that काम वाली अगर आएगी तो इट्स गोइंग टू ब्रिंग डिजीज क्योंकि वो और घर पे भी काम करती है हमें कहा पता है कि अगर वो किसी बीमार बंदे के घर पे काम करती है तो हमारे यहाँ पे भी वो लेकर आएगी सो दिस सॉर्ट ऑफ डिस्क्रिमिनेशन एंड स्टिग्मा अगर कोई बंदा बीमार है तो वो अछूत हो गया है या उसको उसके पास नहीं जाना चाहिए उसके उसको छोड़ा नहीं चाहिए पीपल आर ऑल्सो स्टार्टेड दे है are not dealing properly with foreigners so ye sari cheeze jo hai discrimination and stigma which is going to expand has to be taken care of by proper intervention and these are very minor interventions jahan se just clearing of doubt and just simple counseling will play a very major role in uh, combating stigma and discrimination ki agar bimari hoti hai to bimari ko pakda ja sakta hai jaata ja sakta hai uska ilaj ho sakta hai aur ye ye steps hai jo sarkar ne liye hai और हम सब मिलके इसमें अगर साथ में इसको करेंगे तो कोई भी बंदा इस बीमारी से निकल सकता है वी कैन शेयर गुड प्रैक्टिस एंड एग्जांपल्स व्हिच वी हैव अक्रॉस द कंट्री सो एंड आल्सो पासिंग ऑन द इंफॉर्मेशन दैट व्हाट इज बीइंग डन फॉर द लोअर स्टेट ऑफ द सोसाइटी क्लीनर्स है मेड्स है जो डेली वेज वर्कर है उनके लिए भी इतने सारे इनिशियेटिव लिए जा रहे हैं सो इन सारे इनिशियेटिव को जब हम उन लोगों तक अच्छे से कम्युनिकेट कर पाए as a first responder it becomes very important to pass on this uh, information to them as well also the tone and language that we use when we interact with people agar hum khud itne chintit hai aur logo ke paas jaake hum koi explanation denge so then it is not going to make a difference in them we have to be confident we have to be soft spoken and then engage with the community dusri baat uh, this is the very right time we all are public health professional we are all medical professionals so this is the right time where we have to imbibe the public health messaging across the country jo hum itne time se karna chahte hai ki log smoking chhod de tobacco use chhod de open defecation ko prevent kar rahe aur kahi idhar udhar na thuke so this is the time through the uh, fear of covid this is the right time to install uh, the sense of uh, public health messages and in their importance and also lead by example ki dekhi isliye hum itne time se aapko keh rahe the aise nahi karna chahiye aur smoking aur tobacco chhodiye taki this will give us a long term dividends in terms of public health capacity building similarly don't lead by wrong examples whenever you are in public whenever you are responding as a healthcare professional or whenever you are involved in any sort of response whether it's contact tracing treat supporting the treatment to the other healthcare workers do not do any heroic act which is a false thing never go without wearing a mask protective gear if wherever they, they are required or uh, social distancing na follow karke so i would request uh, whatever you do you are going to be treated as an ideal and you have to do it with a very uh, responsible in a very responsible way similarly we as all healthcare community should be very very aware that we do not contribute to Uh, stigma and rumors or uh, forwarding of social media messages so now this is being very strictly taken up care by the even the government and a lot of government workers are also um, being being put under scanner so we are responsible for whatever we seek with the media agar aapke hospital mein media wale aate hain ya so then you are not the person who should speak with the media ek incident management system hota hai jahan pe aapke head of the organization ne या तो एक मीडिया पर्सन को अपॉइंट किया होता है या आपको रेफर करना चाहिए किसी ऐसे बंदे को जो ऑथोराइज है मीडिया से इंटरेक्ट करने के लिए क्योंकि गलत इंफॉर्मेशन इस टाइम के ऊपर बहुत सारी चीजों को दूसरी तरफ ले जा सकती है और हमें यही चीज से डरना है इसी चीज से हमें लड़ना है दूसरी बात है दिस इज गोइंग टू बी अ लॉन्ग हॉल वी ऑल आर इन्वॉल्व हम सब 
की ये कैपेसिटी भी लिंक हो रही है क्योंकि ये लॉन्ग टर्म चलने वाला है तो इट इज द फिनोमिना ऑफ रिस्पॉन्डर्स फटी और स्ट्रेस विल किक इन एंड दिस इज नॉर्मल हम लोग बहुत ज्यादा चिंतित हो सकते हैं हमें बहुत सारे नए सवाल आ सकते हैं हम डॉक्टर्स को ये भी डर है कि हम खुद अफेक्ट हो जाएंगे या नहीं हो जाएंगे ये सारी चीजें आएंगी तो इन चीजों को डील करने के लिए एक आपकी जो सुपरवाइजरी लेवल है या आपके जो एक बड़ी सिस्टम बनाई है आपके जो सवाल है हो सकता है आपके कलीग को ये चीज जो समझ में अच्छे से आई हो वो आपको ये चीज क्लियर कर पाए और डे टू डे आप जो भी चीजें कर रहे हैं उसको अपने मन में ना रखते हुए सबसे डिस्कस करिए अपने कलीग से डिस्कस करिए और अपने आप को लाइट रखिए टेंस रखिए और थोड़ा सा हल्का माहौल बनाए रखिए ये वैसे ही बहुत ज्यादा टेंस टेंस सिचुएशन है इसको हमें थोड़ा सा लाइटर वे में लेके इतनी सीरियसनेस जो हम अपने काम में दिखा रहे हैं उसको हमें पूरे जीवन में नहीं उतार देना है एंड वी हैव टू बी हेल्थी सो देट वी आर एबल टू सर्व द सोसाइटी इन अ बेटर वे सो आई रिक्वेस्ट ऑल ऑफ यू टू बी ऑन स्टैंड बाई एंड डू योर बेस्ट एज मच एज पॉसिबल